Tankers! In today's episode, we'll be answering the hottest questions about the matchmaking test. We'll also be showing you some of the coolest entries in the Goodbye Cedric meme contest and giving you your first task for the parkour survival tournament. Of course, the hottest theme of the past week has been the testing of the matchmaking system, which took place on Tuesday and Wednesday. There have been many questions on our forum and social media. Today we'll be answering the most common ones from our forum. Let's start with the loudest one. The matchmaking system is garbage. Why did you implement it on the main servers? Do not add it to the game. As we explained in the last episode, this system needed to be tested on our main servers, so that we could get a realistic picture of how players were being distributed in battles, how long the waiting times would be, and how other factors, such as the ranked bracket size for battles, would be handled. We understand that the system is far from optimized for now. That's why it's not gonna be implemented anytime soon. The test has given us a lot of feedback and technical data. Now we need to analyze it and use those insights to improve the system. And now the rest of the questions. Spurger tells us, where's my in-game mission button? There is a problem in the game overall. A player enters a battle, finishes a mission and leaves. The problem exists now and was also present during the matchmaking test. And that's why we removed the button. It is not an elegant solution, but it brought us the results we wanted. We haven't decided what it will look like yet. We'll tell you this once we've decided. Nicola M is upset about having to wait behind a queue of 300 players to join a battle. This is not a queue in the usual sense. If you're in a queue in a shop and you have 300 people in front of you, you're number 301, which means you have to wait for a very long time. But in our case, this is the number of players who pressed the play button and are waiting to join a battle just like you. The system goes through the list and sends players into battles. So the bigger the number of waiting tankers, the better. Because it means the battle will start sooner. Yes, it's probably not obvious. Anyway, we'll fix it. Silent J the Cool talks about a TDM game that had legends and third lieutenants and complains that it's totally unfair on the lower ranks. There are no rank limits in matchmaking at all. After you click the button, the system starts looking for players with the same rank. If there aren't enough such players, the rank limits by one rank up and down. If there are still not enough players, the rank limits grow a step further. So a battle might include one rank only, for example legends, or a range of 15 ranks and more. There is one very important characteristic, the time after which the rank limit expands. If this number is increased, the rank limits become narrower, but you'll have to wait even more time. If it's decreased, battles will be created quickly, but the rank difference will be too big. Yes, we also have seen battles with recruits and legends, but this is just a bug that we missed. Our task for now is to find the right balance between battle creation speed and rank difference. The next comment is from Hattie1994. Why am I being forced to play with kids when the other side is full of legends? Is this the so-called matchmaking system? This was one of the main things that we didn't manage to finish by Tuesday. So during the first day, the system scattered players into teams randomly. The same happened with the combat groups, where sometimes two groups ended up on the same team. On Wednesday, we fixed these issues, and the mechanism started dividing groups between teams perfectly. The remaining players were distributed by rank, so there were no more battles where five commanders were playing against five brigadiers. We understand that the distribution of players by rank is not always fair. Sometimes a general with his kill-death ratio, skill and garage can be stronger than a legend. Therefore, in the future it will be more fair to distribute players according to rating, which takes into account kill-death ratio, supplies and other statistics. Hate Alien is complaining on the low FPS on OSA map. This tanker is right. Not all the maps were properly optimized. And the map where FPS were falling the most was OSA. On Wednesday we also solved the problems with this map, as well as on Polygon, year 2042 and others. The next is a suggestion from the God Delusion, who says we should create a system where all battles appear in the battle list regardless of server origin. The merging of all the servers into one list has been in the development plan for a long time. Now we see that the matchmaking system should definitely be implemented together with the merging. We are sure there aren't any players who like to hop across all the servers to find the perfect battle. And we'll do our best to implement a single battle list by the time we release the matchmaking system. 
And the final one. Player Sniper 1954 The Dark is upset about not being able to play on a favorite map. We know that some players like Polygon and Silence for the fact that the fun there grows faster than on other maps due to their design. With the release of matchmaking, we will change the profitability on all maps so that it will be equally profitable to play on every one of them. Details later. If the issue is not with the earning of crystals, but due to a true love of these maps, you are able to choose. If you don't like that the system decides where you should play, use the battle list. Of course, such battles don't count towards your mission progress. Want to complete missions? Play in matchmaking battles. Simple. So let's sum it up. The test is over, and despite the fact that the system is obviously nowhere close to being finished yet, it works and the servers survived. Now we need to finalize the system. Our goal is to create fast and profitable battles on optimized maps, with teams that are full and fairly balanced, and without molds and sabotages, robberies and other troubles. At the same time, there will be a single battle list, so that you don't have to keep jumping from one server to the other to find the perfect battle. All battles, XP, BP, no supplies or from dusk to dawn will be in one convenient place. As we finish programming each new feature, we will talk about it in the upcoming episodes. Video of the week. Last week we gave you a challenge. On the Space Lost Temple, you have to jump from this platform to this roof without using any mines. Here's the video from the first team that completed the test. They get 200,000 crystals to share. Good job! And now let's watch the team who submitted the best video for the challenge. They also get 200,000 crystals to share. For next episode, shoot a cool video with Wasp and Hammer wearing the orange paint. It can be a frag movie, a spectacular flag delivery, a funny moment, it's up to you. Good luck! A couple of weeks ago, we told you about a new upcoming parkour tournament called Parkour Survival, where every week the participating teams will be given a parkour challenge to complete. Those teams who can finish the challenge will win a prize and move on to the next stage. Those who don't manage will be eliminated. Now the tournament is about to kick off, and we'll be issuing the first challenge here in the vlog. For this first challenge, you'll need to get on top of this building on the Polygon map. Yes, we know it's easy and that any noob team can do it, but that's exactly what we want for this first challenge. We want everyone to participate and win a prize. So make sure you give it a shot. To find out more about the tournament details, including the rules, prizes and where to submit your entry, check out the link in the description. By the way, the challenges will be getting harder over time, but the prizes will also be getting bigger and cooler. Last week, Cedric, backed by some tear-jerking music added for dramatic effect, announced that he'll be leaving Tanky Online at the end of the month. He also kicked off a meme contest with the theme Goodbye Cedric, and the entries are already rolling in. Here are a few cool ones. Remember, Cedric will be picking his favorite entries and rewarding them with one day of premium each. Additionally, prizes will be given out to those entries that get the most likes. To participate in the contest, submit your meme in the special thread. The link is in the description. The deadline is on Friday, 18th of August at 7.30 UTC. That's it, tankers. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. See ya! Last time, we showed you some shots from a mystery map, and you had to guess its name. The correct answer is Solikamsk. Here are our winners. And here's the new question.